There were once two friends who lived together in a cabin north of Charleston. George Hayward was a big, strong, able man. His companion, Aaron Dickens, was small and weak. He had been felled with a fever the year before and thereafter did not know a single healthy day as the illness wore him down. He was so full of pain and restlessness that he could not sleep at night. He moaned and groaned and muttered over and over, I wish I was dead. For a long time, George had compassion for his friend. But after a time, the strong man who had never known a sick day in his life grew weary of Aaron's complaining day and night. Though he fought it, he could feel anger building up inside him. One night, George's feverish friend grew more restless than usual. Aaron turned and twisted, but he could find no peace from the burning fever and his aching joints. Oh, he cried in misery. I wish I was dead. George, who had been waked from a sound sleep by Aaron's cry, snapped at him. You wish you were dead? Then why, in heaven's name, don't you just die and be done with it instead of carrying on and never leaving me a minute's peace? Why don't you call death to come to you and put an end to all your wretchedness? Aaron, at the end of his strength, said, All right, I'll call him. I don't want to live much anyway. He hauled himself upright on the bed, swung his legs over the edge, and staggered to the door. He fumbled it open and called, Death. Oh, Death, come and claim me. But his voice was very weak and feeble, hardly more than a whisper. Now Death was way down yonder at the crossroads, sitting on a stump, waiting for someone to hail him. But Death could not hear what the sickly man whispered. Aaron's voice was so puny and uncertain. The two men in the cabin sat and listened. When Death made no answer, George said to Aaron, He didn't hear you holler. Holler again, only holler loud this time. So the fevered man called again. Death, oh Death, I'm waiting for you. But his voice had grown even weaker and fainter from the effort. Sh, said his strong friend in disgust. That's no way to call Death. You don't holler louder than a busted cockroach. Let someone holler as can holler. With that, George went to the door and bellowed loud and bold at the top of his voice. Death! Oh, Death! Before the big man could turn or say, Oomph! Something dark and dismal, grinning without mirth, clamped a heavy hand on his shoulder. George twisted around and said, who are you, and what do you want? I am death, said the dreary thing. You called me, and I came. George had no chance to say another word. Death took him into the dark and left the ill, puny man lying in his bed. In the morning, Aaron's fever broke and he lasted many more years. People would look at Aaron and recollect George Hayward, dead and buried for many years. Then they would shake their heads and say, death has a singular sense of humor, letting a weak and sickly man outlive a strong one. But Aaron, who counted himself blessed to have seen death's grin without feeling his touch, gave himself fully to the business of living. No matter how bad things might get for him, he resolved to hold fast until death called him.